Someone suggested during the live stream yesterday that I should check out Sean Murray's Twitter account, X account, I guess now these days is what it's called, and that I would find a plethora of information about No Man's Sky, some really cool screenshots, video clips, and everything else. I started browsing through it a little while ago, and I was like, oh yeah, I definitely need to do like a reaction video to this because there is a ton of juicy stuff up here, and I'm seeing some screenshots and things that I just didn't know anything about. Um, and also, you know, Light No Fire preview here. Um, I know this is something that um, I'm really excited about. Um, the idea of, like right now I've been absolutely loving No Man's Sky. I'm gonna turn the down, volume down a little bit on this. Um, I've been absolutely enthralled by No Man's Sky. But it's also made me sit up and go, oh, this is what Hello Games is working on. Next, okay, I remember seeing the preview for this last year. I guess it was Christmas time when it went out. Um, it looks absolutely breathtaking. And knowing that this is what's coming down the pipeline for all of the fans of No Man's Sky, like, this just looks absolutely stunning. Um, and as I understand it, it's going to be one planet where you can explore everything with your friends and the community get dragons gonna act like ships I'm assuming they look like they act like ships uh, we could see some of that flora and fauna like especially like the water and stuff that that's the tech they brought into no man's sky with the world's part one update this just looks look at that floating island torches and I like the fantasy theme more than the uh, sci-fi theme a little bit more at least for this. And they both have their place, but... I'll be doing a whole another reaction video, uh, and just me getting up to speed on Light No Fire soon, so hopefully you'll stay tuned for that. This just looks absolutely... Like, what is that big tower? And what is this? Some sort of storyline? I don't know. Why are things falling apart? We'll find out. That's like the core of the planet. Oh, very interesting. Light no fire. I'm excited. Um, but what got me was like um, 2016. So he, he, he retweets a lot of stuff, which is really cool to go look at. Uh, on, on July 29th, Touch Arcade said, Is 2016 No Man's Sky from Hello Games was a good game with a lot of potential to great music. In 2024, ahead of its eight-year anniversary next week and tons of updates later, it's one of my favorite games ever. We look back at its journey leading into 5.0. So this was an update somebody did and it shows like I'm assuming these are like soundtracks because look like we've got um, some vinyls here, but then showing them playing it on various devices, the PS4 version, the PS5 version, like a CD booklet or something. Is that a Dark Horse comic, Adventures in No Man's Sky? Is there a comic? I don't even know. Is there a comic? If there's a comic, I'm going to have to go look that up and find out more. Um, this video was really cool. Someone said John Sandman. Um, New Man's Sky is officially one of my favorite games I've played in my lifetime. It's overwhelming and awesome. I have been feeling overwhelmed. Um, it's definitely rising in my ranks of games that I really, really, really enjoy. Um, and then this screenshot was the one I saw that was like, I gotta... It, it, like, is that an in-game screenshot? If that's an in-game screenshot, like, is that a PC screenshot where they're running a bunch of mods and stuff? Like... That absolutely looks freaking amazing. Um, phenomenal lock screen image. Props to you for being known as Ray Reynolds. Like, oh, here's another one. Like, that ship right there looks absolutely breathtaking. Is that the same ship? That's cool. And I don't know what that's from. Um, I've heard, I saw a ship the other day. Someone said it was from a, um, um, from an expedition. Um, and, uh, here's a living ship. I haven't seen living ships yet. I've heard people talk to me about living ships. Um, but I haven't seen them. Like, this looks absolutely amazing. Like, that ship. I would love to get one of these. Um, obviously this is probably an expedition limited time ship. Um, like, is this No Man's Sky? Like, I have no idea. This looks absolutely amazing. It's like a little gecko. Like, look at this floating... Like, are these legit images? 
Or are these... Like, oh my god, like, look at this. Holy crap. Like, that is just... Absolutely breathtaking. This is probably my favorite shot, though. Like, this shot right here... I just look at this, like this ship type right here, I'm just absolutely blown away. When I see this screenshot right here, I'm like, this to me is like the space battle stuff. Like, I haven't seen this kind of space battles yet. Like, I haven't gotten into fights with, like, Dreadnoughts. I came across a Dreadnought mission the other day, and I bypassed it because I was like, I'm not ready for that. But this screenshot makes me go, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, wanna see this thing? Ooh, baby, show me where I can. Like, this this looks absolutely badass. Um, and then just scrolling down through here, um, this image says, no filters, no editing or post-processing effects, just the beautiful art of uh, world cover art that Hello Games has produced. This view blew me away. That looks like something from a sci-fi. Dude, this makes me want to get like a little robot creature. I haven't changed any of my base stuff. Hold on, what is this? Village in the Clouds? Okay, I can dig it. That's impressive. Okay, this this was the one that really got me, though, when I started looking through this and I went, are these all of the updates that No Man's Sky has released since it became available? Because if that's the case, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 5 is 25, 26, 27 updates in 8 years. Is that how this works? Um, and then someone is... Um, so. This is what someone is hypothesizing. Someone, this is one of the reasons I want to take a look at this, is someone said, if you look at all of this, you got rows of five, right? So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then we've got 26, 27. And I've got people fixated on the fact that there are three blurred over images right here coming after the world's part one update which is leading people to theorize that there are at the very least three more worlds updates coming. I don't know if that's true. I think it's a theory at this point, but what blows me away when I look at this image right here and I see all of the stuff that No Man's Sky has done for free ever since this game came out, I can't think of too many companies that are in a position to do this. Um, I don't know enough about Hello Games. Are they an independently held company and that's how they're able to get away with this? Because most corporate driven companies that are owned by an investor funded enterprise are required to push a certain amount of profit. So they have to always be monetizing. Love her to hate it. That's just the way the industry works. Um, and this right here uh, is truly an impressive thing to me to have to, to have 27. And this would, this would put them up to 30 updates for free that they have given to the community. And then we've got an upcoming game coming out, the Light and a Fire game. I'm I'm a little blown away by this. Like and this is the other thing too. Like I as a brand new player trying to come in and get up to speed with all of this stuff, it's overwhelming. Like everyone's like, go do expeditions, go do this. Don't forget the companions, the animals, and this. And I'm just like, guys, I haven't even gotten through with like the overseer missions and like the planet builds and Ah So Good, good uh, tip for me to check out Sean Murray's uh, Twix, Twitch slash X account, everybody. Um, some great stuff here. Screenshots. Here's a badass looking mech. Like, really good stuff here. Um, I'm genuinely, I've been having a really good time. There's a lot of stuff. Like, look at this outfit. That's so cool, guys. Like, I know my big head's in the way because I thought I was wrapping up the video and then I'm still looking at stuff and I'm just like, oh my god, let me get sidetracked with even more stuff. Um, I'm excited, guys. I've had a lot of fun with everything I've seen so far. Like, this kind of stuff just geeks me out, the sci-fi nerd in me that loves this 70s sci-fi art. 
More No Man's Sky coming to you every single day. It's the mainstream until August 22nd. So if you want to follow along, there's a link below. There's also another link to my base building series as I build my first base on my Paradise Planet. Hopefully you've been enjoying the streams. It's been a lot of fun since I started playing this game a couple weeks ago. It's becoming one of my favorite games of 2024. I don't know if it's my favorite. It probably is my favorite of 2024 so far. Although I know Star Wars Outlaws is about to hit, and I will that'll trump everything because it's Star Wars. But this has been my 2024 pick so far as No Man's Sky. Loving it. Hopefully we'll see you in the next multi-stream every single day here and on Twitch at 11 a.m. Central and beyond. We do afternoon streams as well sometimes. Play a lot of different games. Check them all out. Don't forget the socials in the Discord, everybody. There's also a Patreon, and I'll see you in the next one.